Assalamu alaikum my name is Abdullah Ajman and today i will be explaining question number 5.5 and question number 5.8 of our assignment number 4 so uh, basically question number 5 states that design the control circuit for a vending machine with the following specification simulate in proteus and make video as well so basically what we have to do is so we have to make a vending machine that accepts nickels and dimes and uh, when the machine has received 15 cents it delivers a package of candy if too much money has been added the machine returns the difference when the candy has been released the release mechanism brings the circuit back to the original state so the final point it is uh, talking about the reset state so let's move towards the block diagram of the circuit so this is the block diagram of the circuit uh, so it will accept both uh, nickels and dimes so dimes is a bigger unit it is uh, 10 cents and nickel is what uh, we say 5 cents so uh, when all of the condition are met it releases candy and if there is excess uh, money in the machine it returns back to the so i have created a clear state diagram so this is the state diagram of the vending machine so according to this we have three states f0 f1 and uh, f2 so when we give one nickel uh, to our uh, s0 state it moves toward s1 state with zero output because it will not give either a candy or a success change and at s1 now we have five cents when we give an other nickel uh, it uh, our state uh, uh, from s1 changes to s2 and uh, still the output is zero and at this point we have uh, 10 cents so now when we, uh, we add an another nickel so our uh, total quantity of 15 nickel is completed as uh, it is completed so our machine will uh, give us a candy and uh, no return cash uh, no return uh, coin or any type of money so here we can see our output is 1 and 0 1 is for candy and 0 is for uh, uh, no return cash so if we consider that uh, if we directly give a dime to our machine at s0 so at s0 when we give a dime our output is still zero but it uh, skips the state s1 and directly moves to s3 so we have 10 cents and then if we give again a uh, nickel it will uh, propagate to s0 uh, and uh, give us uh, a uh, candy without any change return so uh, now let's consider that the same state at s3 we have 10 cents but now instead of giving a nickel we give a dime so dime is 10 cents so in return the machine will give us a candy as well as one nickel as our return money so now uh, suppose that we are at s0 we give it one nickel so we have now 5 cents and then again we give it uh, uh, what this uh, one dime so it is 10 cents uh, so it will return us one candy with zero also. so this was the uh, basic explanation of the state diagram uh, of our uh, vending machine now let us move towards the two table so the two table is also Uh, made by using the state diagram uh, in which the x region and don't care that are not used uh, in our machine only the states are the 0 and 1 are only utilized so from this uh, new states and outputs and the present state we have created the same app for uh, our flip top so we are using d flip top so we are using uh, 3d flip top d a d b and d c and uh, by using them uh, sorry we are using only two flip top d a and d b so by using this flip flop uh, by using this game app we have uh, uh, acquired these equations for uh, da db and uh, this is the equation for uh, this is the equation for uh, our output uh, which is g uh, uh, is equal to ad so now let us move towards the proteus implementation of the circuit as question number uh, so this is the proteus implementation of our circuit so basically this is a state analyzer which will show us our output these are the inputs dimes and nickels so basically our circuit is formed from the the first part of the plus uh, uh, the first flip top uh, consists of uh, this combinational circuit and the second flip flop consists of combinational circuit so the first combinational circuit includes three and gate and or gate the second consists of two and gates and an or gate 
and uh, this is the output mechanism of our circuit which consists of four AND gates and a uh, single three input OR gate and all of these uh, we have also used uh, logic probes uh, to give us the to show display us the output uh, uh, in, uh, in addition to the this logic analyzer which will also show us output in the waveform so now let us run the circuit so uh, the circuit is working so uh, this is the, so basically the, the the diamonds and nickels are provided by a clock we could also use a logic toggle uh, to generate random inputs towards and the circuit uh, gives us output in according to the state table that we have earlier seen so now let us move towards debug and logic analyzer so all the first three states should be on Let me on the capture. So when the capture becomes green, uh, the value of, uh, value will be start recording. So now the values are not being recorded. Now the now the value will be start recording. Now as you can see our capture has been black and now our values have been recorded uh, and these are in accordance with our uh, table and the logic uh, state diagram that we have created. So there are two ways of creating a, a state table, one is recording and one is uh, more explained version of a table. So now let us move towards the uh, next part. So then, uh, the next part uh, that was included in our uh, assignment was question number 8. So the question number 8 states that uh, what we have to do, we have to create a, a complete circuit for uh, our garage door which will move up and down according to our desired input. So uh, the, what uh, we require from is that it has to follow uh, this uh, basic uh, state diagram and according to this we will create our state uh, uh, table uh, so basically this circuit consists of three inputs uh, which are uh, a for active uapl for moving the motor upwards or uh, anti clockwise direction so it will pull the, pull the gate up in upper direction and uh, dnl which will move the gate down uh, move the motor uh, in clockwise direction and uh, in, re uh, in result the gate will move uh, uh, downward uh, uh, to close our garage as we now clearly understand uh, what it is happening question number eight uh, i have made a clear state diagram so basically what is happening is this side of the circuit is responsible for moving the gate downward and uh, this side of the circuit is responsible for moving the gate upward so what will happen uh, though all of the circuit in our uh, in, uh, uh, this uh, all of our controls in the uh, circuit depends upon the active control if the active control is connected means the input is being provided to the circuit in only that condition will the motor move clockwise or anti-clockwise to open or close the gate and the respective operations are carried out in this respect uh, so basically UFL is used for moving the motor in upper direction and UNL is uh, uh, DNL is responsible for uh, moving the mo motor in uh, the downward direction so uh, now let us move towards the dot table uh, so basically this is the state table that has been dragged by using the quantum uh, given the state diagram so basically the axis accessibility represents the don't case that are not utilized in the circuit only the one with the one and zero are utilized so using these the state tables the using the inputs and outputs we have created the k maps for respective uh, uh, what they say respective uh, uh, d flip flop circuit so basically as we have uh, three inputs to two raised to the power three being eight we only require five states so we have to utilize three flip-flops so we are using deep flip-flop for their more efficient uh, uh, propagation of the circuit this is the equation of db the upper given was da and this is the equation of dc with respect to output 
now let us move towards the protease implementation in case of protease implementation i basically created a, a rough implementation then a full fledged implementation the basic implementation had some flaws uh, in which uh, the dp flops were not created uh, not connected properly so the motor was having some issues so i will not show it i will only show the one uh, that was uh, working properly fine so uh, the as you can see we have to run the circuit again so as you can see our motor is at this time moving anti clockwise which is moving our gate in the upward direction as you can see our axle is connected and our dnl is connected so it is moving our gate in the downward direction uh, now if we take uh, and connect our dpl the motor is moving in clockwise direction so basically what i have done i have reversed the connection in the rotation of the motor so now it's moving clockwise so it's my mistake that i have made the wrong connection of the motor so if we reverse the connection it will work properly fine so the final state uh, if we remove the active part that see what happened with our motor stop immediately and similarly if when we connect both the upper uh, unl and uh, dnl with our circuit there is uh, no uh, no such state the motor will not completely stop but it will move in the downward direction with sudden jerk so So this uh, circuit is uh, malfunctioning due to overload on the CPU core. So what happens now that uh, our circuit is uh, working completely fine and has uh, already proven the main uh, the steps uh, that were involved in uh, the propagation of the circuit in the. upward direction and in the downward direction so basically the main function are provided by this last six outputs so whenever the present state is 3 and uh, depending upon the given final state whether it is 3 4 or 2 it will move in the downward direction and when the present state is all four and the output state are either 4 or 1 it will uh, move our circuit in the upward direction or move our motor in the uh, respective direction to move the gate in the upward direction so that's all from my side thank you for watching